let me quickly talk to you about how to start a chauffeur service and make money from day one. Okay, we're not waiting for a day two or day 20 or a day 200 or a day 2000. You want to start making money from day one. So how, what are the steps you need to follow? So if you want to start a profitable chauffeur service and make money from day one, you need to conduct market research. See, the whole thing here is that when we talk about a chauffeur company, what is that? What is it? So a chauffeur business is really a company that provides transportation services, typically in a luxury vehicle with a professional driver or chauffeur. And the primary purpose of a chauffeur business is to offer a higher level of service and comfort than traditional taxi or ride sharing services. And the vehicles used by a chauffeur business are, are, are often high end cars such as limousines, executives, sedans, or SUVs. And the drivers are typically highly trained and experienced professionals. And the services provided by uh, a chauffeur business can vary widely from airport transfers and corporate transportation to weddings, proms, and other special events. And the cool thing here is that chauffeur businesses often cater to a specific clientele, such as corporate executives, celebrities, or high net worth individuals who will require, for all intents and purposes, a certain level of privacy, comfort, and luxury in their transportation. So these businesses may also offer additional amenities such as complimentary Wi-Fi, refreshments, and other perks to enhance the customer experience. It's all about the customer experience, okay? So we're speaking about uh, an industry that has generated three to four billion dollars in the last uh, five years, every single year in the last five years. So this is really good. So what you wanna do here is that you want to conduct market research, right? So who is the target market for your chauffeur business? You have to think about corporate executives, tourists, special occasions guests such as weddings proms and other formal events think about high-end clients and also airport travelers so if you are in new york for example do you want to cover the, the you know la guardia for instance you want to go to jfk you want to you want to also cover uh, newark international airports so think about that and it is a very profitable business for for real and there are there are actually uh, some niches but you have to pick whatever works for you And obviously there are major competitors in the industry okay you have black land you have uber black you have carrier international it really depends but there's always room for 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 more demand and so there are some uh, some state regulations and, zo and zoning laws for chauffeur business you have to actually uh be, you have to think about your uh, specific situation and there is there's also a franchise there are several franchises for chauffeur businesses so you don't have to do things you, have, you don't have to start on your own you, you don't have to, sc to start from scratch you can actually just uh, get into uh, a franchise and uh, so to actually uh, start a chauffeur business think about the business plan legal structure licenses and permits standard office facility in a suitable location luxury cars employees and funding Let me talk to you about step number two. You, so you want to choose a memorable business name. You need to understand when we talk about a chauffeur business, we're not speaking about a regular cab, cab business or a regular sort of a taxi, whatever business. No, you are going to cater to a high level sort of a crowd, a high level kind of sort of audience. So you want to choose a memorable business name that also suits your, your, your business, okay? Don't go for like a John Doe, whatever, or Django, whatever. No, you want to pick something prestigious. Pick something unique. Pick something that is memorable. Very important. So when looking to start a business, before you begin to file the necessary documents with the with the with the authorities, or you want to start your website, it's necessary to come up with a name that you will be recognized with. And it's really essential that you name like the name you come up with can be easily pronounced, is unique, and easily memorable. Remember, when we speak about travelers, you are going to deal with a lot of foreigners, and don't use a very complicated English name or whatever. People can't pronounce it. If they can't pronounce it, you're not going to you're not going to win business right so you want to pick syllables and uh consonants you want to pick uh, sounds that are easily pronounceable whether the person is from uh, nigeria or from china or from guatemala or from south africa or from uh, you know whatever the person is from especially if the person is not from an english speaking country the, the the tourists or your clients your potential clients should be able to pronounce the name your, your company's name So what we talk about actually today's topic, which is actually how to start a chauffeur business, it's important to understand that uh, you want to pay attention to the memorable name. There are names that are out there that you can actually, uh, you, you can mimic, okay? There are some creative chauffeur business name ideas. For example, you can, you can have Jimmy Jones Chauffeur Services Company. You can have, you know, Owen Evans, Adam Long Chauffeur Services Company. 
you can have a Jane Doe chauffeur services company, make it procedures, okay? And you can just try to have, for instance, LC at the end or Inc at the end, so that it's, it's really clear what kind of uh, what kind of business uh, ideas you have, because you want to contextualize everything from the get go as a business. This is really important that you, that uh, anybody who thinks about your business thinks of it as a as a real business, as a real chauffeur chauffeur business. So again, it has to be from the get go. But make it please short and memorable. Go straight to the point. The third thing I want you to do here is to register your chauffeur business. So the thing here is that what type of business structure is best for chauffeur business? We have ALC. I mean, don't let people sort of, don't let anybody wrestle dazzle you and say, well, you want to have a C corporation and S corporation. No, this is not going to work for you. You want to go with, with an ALC. It's very fast. It is very popular in any states of, uh, of the union. So it doesn't matter whether you are in Alaska or Hawaii or New York or, or New Mexico or Texas or Oregon, whatever. An ALC is great for you. And so when we talk about forming an LLC, choose a name for your LLC, file articles of organization, choose a registered agent. You want to decide on member versus manager management, and you can create an LLC operating agreement, comply with other tax and regulatory requirements, and file annual reports. Now, all these things I'm telling you here, we are able to uh, actually elaborate more here in the interest of time for sake of time. I'm actually going a little faster, but it's totally possible to break it down for you. So there are some licenses that are needed to open a chauffeur business, depending on your states, okay, and, and the county for that matter. You might need a business license, a building permit, airport permits, vehicle permits, limousine or, or, live, or library license. You can think about commercial driver's license, CDL, operating authority, zonal permits. And in terms of, uh, you don't really need any special any special certification to start a, a chauffeur service business, and but you, you need, might need things like a business plan, business license, EIN, state-specific licenses and permits, and uh, building permits, airport permits, a lot of permits to actually uh, open the business, but it does depend on your specific location. Your geography plays an important role in, in when it comes to the type of uh, permits that you need, okay? So whether you need a trademark, copyright, or patent for your chauffeur services business will depend on the specific circumstances and needs of your business. If you have a unique business name, logo, or slogan for your chauffeur services business, it may be a great idea to trademark it to prevent others from using it and to protect your brand. So, but again, here you have extra steps. Are you willing to take the extra? Are you willing to take those extra steps? If if they're worth it for you, then go ahead and, and uh, take them. If not, just uh, you know do things a little faster. You don't want to waste them in the preliminary phase of things anyway. The next thing I want you to do here is to really engage in cost analysis and budgeting. See, the whole thing here is that if you want to start a chauffeur business this year, you need to pay attention to cost analysis and budgeting. How much does it cost to start a chauffeur business? It really depends on your industry. Okay, we, we, We've seen costs that go from $100,000 all the way to $3 million. If you are in New York or in LA or you want to, those are sort of... Uh, I would say uh, high-powered places. You might even you might easily uh, spend like uh, three hundred thousand dollars to three million dollars. Okay, please note that the cost of securing an office facility, purchasing luxury cars, equipment, furnishing, and the salary of your employees are part of this cost. Okay, now be smart from the get-go. Do not buy a uh, do not buy a fleet of vehicles. Start with one. And you don't you don't even you don't need to buy it if it you can lease it. That way you can actually take care of your, your cash inflows and cash outflows. You can actually control everything from the get-go. And as the business grows, as you're making more money, you can think about investing in a full-time car, that, in, in, a, in a limo that you own. But to start, don't invest uh, more than uh, you, you just lease. And, but think more about business registration fees, legal expenses for obtaining licenses and permits, marketing, branding, and promotions, business consultant fees, insurance, rent, or lease, other startup expenses that, in, that include uh, commercial satellite TV subscriptions, stationary and phone and utility deposits. Think about op operational costs, so salaries of employees, payments of bills, etc. Think about store equipment, your, your cash register, security, ventilation, signage. Think about equipment, furniture, and software. Think about luxury car, the luxury cars themselves. Again, you don't have to buy them, just lease them to start with. Think about your website. 
and think about the opening party and the miscellaneous so the bottom line here is that you, you want to actually uh plan a lot a, a lot of cash so when we're talking about uh, today's topic we're still contextualizing the, the whole conversation around how to start a chauffeur business this year it's important to understand that the there are certain factors that determine the cost of opening a chauffeur business so for example the the choice of location so your geography plays an important role the size of the chauffeur business the number of luxury cars and drivers the required licenses and permits very important the cost of hiring and paying a business consultant and attorney the cost of branding promotion and marketing of the chauffeur business the cost of furnishing and equipping the chauffeur office facility the cost of the insurance the the policy that, that will you try to get the cost of registering the business the cost of recruiting and training your staff the cost of the purchase and customizing of uniforms shoes and caps for your employees the cost of the grand opening of the chauffeur business okay now you do need a you you, you do need some facility to uh, to uh, to sort of host your office you don't need to make it big okay and there are ongoing expenses for, for the chauffeur business you need to be aware of that and uh, in terms of average salary the salary will depend on your geography okay but you can also uh, raise the money by getting by, by applying for a loan you don't have to spend your own cash at all What you want to do here is that you can also write a business plan. So the thing here, if you're trying to start a chauffeur business this year, you want to have a clear business plan so that you can actually, uh, you, you can nail, you can uh, zero in on the important elements that you need to uh, sort of uh, reach, the important goals you need to reach if you want to successfully run your, chauff your chauffeur business. So when we talk about a business plan, we're speaking about a very specific detailed plan that talks about how you are going to monetize your operation. So you, you want to pay attention to things like executive summary. You want to talk about the products and service. So you are going to be, be providing airport transportation, corporate transportation, special event transportation, luxury vehicles, professional chauffeurs, and uh, a, personal, a personalized service. Now, it's really important to contextualize everything you, that you were talking about so that your potential clients have a clear idea of the kinds of services and uh, capabilities you are offering. And uh, in your business plan, also mention things like mission statements, vision statements, your goals and objectives. The bottom line is what? The bottom line is you need to actually uh, explain how you are going to monetize your operation, how you are going to monetize your chauffeur business. I'm not going to go through this with a, this is not a, an in-depth course of uh, business planning for chauffeur businesses, but I just want to see that there are things that you need to mention in terms of, for instance, the marketing plan. You need to talk about the SWOT analysis, for example, strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats based on the, on the specific location that you are currently are at. And as a chauffeur business, you basically make money. Like you, you are monetizing your uh, your operation by charging for transportation services. Okay, so the, the chauffeurs might actually typically charge a fee based on the distance traveled or the time spent providing the service. And chauffeur businesses may also may also generate additional revenue through complementary services such as airport transfers, corporate transportation wedding transportation and special event transportation and these services may be charged at a premium rate depending on the level of service provided so and in terms of payment options you are thinking about what credit and or debit cards cash electronic payment systems such as paypal or venmo checks bank transfers and this is kind of cool and you have a lot of strategies in terms of uh you know creating the buzz around your your event business and also think about the financial projection now this will depend on your specific uh, industry and geography so those are totally different okay but all i'm trying to tell you here what i'm trying to tell you here is that you can go on uh, fiverr you can go on upwork you can go to freelancer.com go to those freelancer website and just hire someone to write a business plan for you please make sure that the business plan is specific nothing really no cheap ass business plan no generic business plan Now, I want you to set up your shop slash office, right? If you're trying to really uh, start a chauffeur business uh, this year, you need to choose the perfect location for your chauffeur business. Now, the demo the, the uh, demographics of the location, especially as it, as it relates to uh, high-end clients, the demand for chauffeur services in the location, 
the number of corporate organizations, medium and small scale businesses in their location, because how do you choose a perfect location? This is where you want to look at the accessibility of the location, the number of chauffeur businesses in and around the location, the local laws and regulations in the community slash state traffic, parking and security, etc. And so in terms of the city, cities that are great for it opening a chauffeur business again everything starts around the demographics right cities that have a, like a voluminous populations in the country are like you know by definition really interesting so we're speaking about what we're speaking about new york new york city right la you have uh, san francisco you have you have houston you have uh, chicago you have uh you have uh, atlanta you have uh, boston you have dallas you have washington dc you have seattle and, and washington state so you do have a, a constellation of uh players in this industry that can really help you out so you want to look for you want to look for large cities you want to look for activities like you want to look for cities that have um, i would say large airports and now you can also you can also flip the the uh, the argument and say listen in those cities there is strong competition already so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go to i'm going to go to those places where there is less competition i'll be alone the market will not be there it will not be to develop there but at least i'll be there and i'll be the only one actually doing this service so it is it is possible that you can make money also so if you want to actually operate a chauffeur business think about vehicles so we're speaking about luxury sedans limousines suvs or vans think about gps and navigation communication devices so we're speaking about smartphones two-way radios or other communication devices think about clean supplies I mean, clean supplies such as vacuum cleaners window cleaners and interior wipes think about insurance think about safety equipment such as first aid kits fire extinguishers and roadside emergency kits should uh, should be also in the car think about the payment processing systems also The next thing I want to do here is to hire employees. Okay, so hire employees. So although it is possible to run a chauffeur business as a one man show, if you want to build a business that will grow, then you should consider hiring key employees to actually occupy various options, various positions rather in your organization. So the truth is that hiring employees can allow you to take on more clients and increase your capacity for service delivery. So the bottom line here is that whether you want to hire employees or not depends on your business needs and goals. So if you are looking to grow your business, expand your services and take on more clients, hiring more employees is your best bet. The next thing you want to do here is to launch the business properly. So what you want to do here is that you want to pay attention to creating buzz, right? You want to have the buzz. So organizing and opening a party for a new chauffeur business can be a great way to introduce your business to the community and create awareness about your services. However, whether to have an opening party or not is uh, ultimately is ultimately a decision that depends on your individual business and goals, right? And, uh, and do you have also the budget for it? If you want to go ahead and tour, if you want to go ahead and organize, let's say, uh, a proper lunch for your chauffeur business, then you must make sure to invite potential clients, key stakeholders, and other members of the community who may be interested in your services. It's all about creating buzz. Remember, it's all about creating a buzz. So, so what makes a chauffeur business successful? Well, make use of the latest vehicles. So luxury sedans, you have uh, limousines, uh, SUVs or vans, be consistently reliable, have excellent customer service, have efficient operations. Okay, you want to comply with regulations and you want to hire skilled and knowledgeable employees and provide ongoing training that will ensure that you deliver high quality services. So when we talk about a chauffeur business, there are a lot of stuff that happens during a typical uh, day. Uh, so the office is open for the day's work. Their vehicles are washed, clean, and ready for the day's day's job. The core duties are carried out, which may include things like airport transfers, corporate tra corporate transportation, and special event transportation. So special event really refers to things like uh, wedding or quince añera or those sort of uh, special events, you know. And uh, so you have to think about you have to schedule the vehicle maintenance and servicing and administrative tasks such as scheduling appointments, billing, invoicing, and uh, managing supplies and equipment also happens. The vehicles are packed. The business is closed for the day, so it's really good. Now, the types of uh, experience and skills that are needed when if you, want to if you want to build a chauffeur business, think about business management skills, customer service skills, interpersonal skills, logistics skills, good driving skills, bargaining skills, work experience in a car rental services industry, experience in managing people, experience in business administration, 
and experience in handling logistics and transportation software. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Today's conversation, I was just I was just quickly talking to you about how to start a chauffeur business this year. So here are the steps I want you to really uh, pay attention to. So number one, you want to conduct market research. Number two, choose a memorable a memorable business name. Number three, you want to register your business. Number four, you want to think about cost analysis and budgeting. Number five, you want to write a business plan. Number six, you want to set up your shop slash office. Number seven, you want to hire employees. Number eight, you want to launch the business properly. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.